Okay, this is supper for tonight. Okay, and we like everything fresh because you know it's, it's time out for getting fast food and stuff. Hey, go home and, and make your stuff fresh. Fresh carrots, string beans, and I seasoned it real well. Plus put butter in it and some broth. Okay, now here on the other side, now don't laugh at my chicken. This is, what do they call that? Air, air, air fried. They look good. Now, it looks like it's, because we did it for uh, 30, 30 minutes. Yeah. And it looks like it's really dark, but that's just the skin. That's just the skin. Now, we're going to get ready to put those in there, because, hey, we got to have everything that's good. All right. And some rice. Okay, we're back. Okay, the next thing you want to do, because we're going to take these, this first batch, because I got some, another batch going, getting ready to go. Uh, we're going to take these, and we are going to, well, just make sure you're... You want to get that going real well. Okay. You want to mix this up until the onions are cooked. And you don't have to cook them fast. I'm just kind of hurrying. Oh, I look like I might need. Okay, and this is for homemade gravy. Well, let me let it cook a little longer. You put your little seasoning in there. Let it get brown. Let it brown. Okay, and what you want to put also in that is you want to put hot water. You want to put hot water in. You don't want to um, you don't want to put any cold water in there. I always put hot. And I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna turn this back up. Okay, because I like it hot when it's cooking. And then you want to put your flour. Oh, how much is this? This is like one third cup. No, I put half of that. I didn't put the whole thing. And I usually cook this if I don't have no brown um, brownie gravy to make it look brown. I cook this until it's brown, real good, really, really good. Now that's two. There's two cups of hot water in there. Two cups of hot water so we're gonna brown these real good I did turn it back up okay another thing so we're gonna put these in there because we're gonna boil these and while these are cooking uh, oh we got to show you what's going on over here okay the potatoes and the string beans these are both they're all fresh and going real good okay and yellow rice it's almost finished and we're gonna put these in there and then we're going to go ahead while this is still. I want, I want the gravy brown. So we're going to let that brown some. Okay, so we're going to also put these back in. This is the second batch. And I did use virgin olive oil. So I'm going to put that back up here. Okay, so we're going to put these. This is the second batch of chicken in the air fryer. Gonna plug it up. Okay. And this is new for me. It's my I'm over my children's house. Okay, 370. She normally she says she puts it up to uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I done messed all that up. Okay. It's on 400. It's cooking up 400. 
Oh, but I don't even know how much time I put on there. But so I'm gonna have to let her, this is 18 minutes. It's supposed to be 30 minutes. Uh-oh. Okay, we're back over here. Now it's getting nice and brown. And that's what you want. You want a brown, because you want a brown coat. And these are, this is homemade chicken gravy. Normally I would put broth in there, but I just used all the broth. But I think it's about brown enough. Sure, I'm gonna do that. Because when you put the water in there, what happens is that water actually makes it um, makes it thickening, give it a little thickening because it already has a flour in there. So we're gonna put this hot water in there. I'm just gonna hear it sizzle. Okay. You wanna put you wanna put enough in there. I'm gonna turn it down some. You wanna put enough in there so that it also cooks the chicken. And we're gonna set this chicken in there. Okay, and we cut the cut the burner down some. We're gonna set those in there, each one. Okay. I might need to put some more water in some more water in there. Again, I would use chicken broth. Okay. Oh, this is going really, really good. I did put a little bit more water, another cup in it, because I want to give it time to cook and simmer and marinate together. Yeah. Okay, now this is the first side. I'm going to have to cook this here a little bit longer. This is the air fryer. Okay, okay and I do have the, ch the chef with me, and she's examining my food. Okay, this is the first batch. This is the first batch. Okay, so we're, we're going to keep that fried, but I'm going to have to turn this on the other side and let it cook for 15 minutes or so. All right. This is how you want your gravy to look. See that? You want your gravy to look thick because we're going to put it on that rice. Okay, so I'm just mixing this up. But you want your gravy thick. I sauteed them onions up in there. All right. Okay, see how thick it is? But you want it thick, and I'm gonna let it cook maybe a few, a few more minutes, maybe, maybe 10 more minutes. I want it to get down to be a little bit thicker. But that's good. Okay, this is the finished meal. All right, you got fresh carrots, fresh string beans, yellow rice, and I decided to with the boiled, um, well, stewed. The stewed chicken and then the last fried chicken there's the other chicken there the last fried chicken now I'm I gotta I gotta open this up I want to see how well it cooked on the inside oh my goodness yes excuse my fingers but that is good that's real good cooked it real well And it's nutritional.